Every little thing you do, it gets me thinking Buy another shot, you got me drinking Girl, you shut me down and there's no witness Got me in my field, she would never listen All the alcohol is in my liver I guess I Welcome everybody to our know. first ever Shed Talks Today we are in the shed. We are in our, our practice simulator. Well, Caden's practice simulator. But we are in the sim, we are in the shed. Um, and we're gonna be going over some, uh, we're gonna be starting this new series where we do like these shed talks where we'll talk about like our favorite golf ball to use for an episode or maybe our favorite shoes to use in an episode or we'll go kind of go over the basics of like why is a simulator different than the real course or you know it'll be just like certain topics kind of like a podcast it, you know it's kind of our version of a podcast but we're calling it shed talks um but today in episode one of shed talks we are going to be doing answer the internet's questions so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to search up some questions on the internet um could be golf related could not be i'm not sure it could be embarrassing questions who knows we're going to look them up and then what we're going to do is we're going to play behind us we have it set up to where we're going to do a closest to pin so essentially we're gonna play for you guys, and you guys get to watch. And then we're gonna do whoever is closest to the pin doesn't have to answer the question. And we're gonna do probably about five, four or five questions. Um, just kind of keep it short and sweet. We're gonna plan these videos only to be about, you know, between six to 10 minutes long, roughly. Um, but that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna answer the internet's questions. So let's get our questions pulled up and may the closest man of the pin win. Let's do it. We're gonna be doing closest to the pin on Augusta, since it's the Masters weekend when we're recording this. We're gonna do Augusta's 12th hole, it's a par three. Everybody knows what it is, the famous one with the, the Stone Arch Bridge or whatever. Um, we're gonna be doing closest to the pin, and our first question is, how many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? <laughs> okay, so make fun of us to whoever's the loser, but uh, let's get this rolling. 149 yards. Kate, Kate is up first. He's gonna hit hit right away. 149 yards. Uh, you guys can obviously see on the screen here. Um, you're watching live when we hit, so you guys get a better view of it. <clears throat> uh oh, that's a good shot. That's a real good shot. Oh, oh, oh. sick. 12.1 yards. Wow, I'm probably gonna lose this one. That was a good shot. Yeah, that was a really good shot. 12.1, let's see it. I don't know if I'll be able to closer. That's a really good shot to start. Yeah, basically I should be on tour. No, basically not. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh my gosh, I beat 14? You by I beat you by two yards. Two yards, and I took bunker. I'll restart. Oh, that. that's embarrassing. We'll keep playing this whole one. Yeah, yeah, just keep doing it. Yep. Oh, okay, stupid question. Okay, whatever. I lost by two yards, maybe just under two yards, so I have to answer how many chickens will it take to kill an elephant? Wow, uh, well, fully grown or a baby? I guess a, a newly born? I'll go full. I just don't think there's enough chickens to kill. I mean, if you, if you inject them with, you know, an anger, something to make them like, you know, mad, I would have to say 15,000. 15,000 chickens to, <laughs> yeah. ki to kill an elephant. You gotta sure. imagine the elephant's just gonna go. Well, that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. I, I think it'd take 15,000. Send them in like six waves, you know, break them up. But uh, that's my guess, I don't know. All right, next question. We never will know. We never will know. Next question. All right, next question. The second question is, would you rather have no nose or no, or no arms? Ooh, okay. All right, let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. All right, cool. New pin location. You won, so you get to go first. I'm hoping just for the shanks to start kicking in here shortly. Because we all know once Caden gets the shanks, man. Woo! -wee! Ooh, 166. I might have to club up here. Make contact with land, and this is him. All right. That's 
water too. 157 carry though. Get it! Get it! Right. Oh, we gotta redo it, no, dude. We both gotta answer. No, we just re do again. Yeah. Go again. The people want to see some golf content, so we'll re-hit. Oh my gosh, I I thought 166 when it got me there. 157 or I had a 160. I, I had a I had a 162 carry. And the pin was 166, and that's where I went in the water, and that's crazy. Oh, that's a good strike. 149 carry. On the green. Oh, that would be a good shot for that, uh, for the first hole. That's right at it. That is right at the pin, and it's 168. Hole in one. Sit down. Oh! 10 yards. Set nine. Eight. 9.7. All right. Winner on that one, let's go, one to one. You gotta answer that question. All right, well I lost that one. Um, I feel like this question is pretty straightforward. There's not really much to argue about. Um, if someone really had to decide, I feel like they would go with the no nose part of it just because you can still do everything with your arms and it's not like I just walk up to things and just sniff them all the time. I mean, other than that, what is your nose good for, right? So, I'm gonna go with the no nose part of it. The third question, uh, which would you prefer to have as your roommate, a goat or a bird? Okay, that's, that's interesting, but all right, let's jump into it. Why don't you move the pen? Yeah. Oh no. Oh man. 8.2. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. Water. Yeah, it looks like it is. And I hit it off the toe. That hurts. All right, I lost that one by a mile. I hit it right off the toe. Okay, well, I lost that one brutally. I hit it off the toe of the club, as you guys saw. Oh, uh, wow. I would honestly rather have... Dude, I'd rather have a bird. Because goats just, they just crap all the time. They, they make too much noise, but it depends on the bird, too. So, if it's any bird, I'd rather just choose my own bird, and I could probably pick a quiet one, so and they don't make much noise. So, I'd rather a bird. Nice and easy. Put it on my shoulder, walk around my house, room, whatever it is. Yeah, choosing a bird. All right, on to the next question. All right, you can All right question number four. What is the most annoying catchphrase? All right, let's see. Shank. Yes, sir, here they come. Here they come. Oh, laser beam. 175 carry. Bladed that bad boy. Still gonna be closer. You think so? Yep. 30, 30 yards compared 30 to your 88? That's what it was, 88? Yeah. By far one of the most annoying catchphrases going right now is, what's up brother? Um, it's not that I don't like Sketch, I like Sketch, he's a very funny guy, but uh, just it's getting overplayed way too much and everyone on the internet is doing it, so. I mean, it's good for him, but it is getting annoying. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Question number five. What sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? So that is the question. It'll be up on the screen for you guys to look at. That is what we're gonna we're gonna shoot for. Let's do it. It's right at it. 165 at the pin. Six. No, stop, stop. Eight yards, golly. Eight yards is gonna be very hard to beat, especially when I might shank this one. <laughs> Ooh, oh, it's gonna be left. It's too far left. And too far. 21.4. Right, so, question number five. Um, what sport would be the funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? Haven't really thought about it yet, but um, just off the top of my head, I'd probably think track and field. Um, <laughs> I didn't even think about that one, actually. If That's you're running four laps around a track and I'm telling you to drink a case of beer, <laughs> you are puking every, I don't know, 100 meters. So oh, I think that'd be pretty fun to watch. Oh, um, hilarious. So I'm going to go with track and field. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the end of the video. That was episode one, Shed Talks, answering, or what was this technically? They're funny questions to ask. Funny questions to ask. Um, so that is episode one. 
and we're gonna be doing this kind of same series where we just kind of do short little videos for you guys. It'll be different every time. This is what it'll entail. We hope you all enjoy. Leave comments down below if you want us to do something certain for a shed talk. Um, we can certainly do it for you guys if it's reasonable and not YouTube uh, inappropriate. Inappropriate, I should say. Uh, but that is it. That is answering the funniest questions on the internet. We will catch you guys in the next shed talk. See ya.